Hey YouTube, this is Primetime Pokemon. In this video, I'll be opening up two Pokemon Tag Team tins. Both of these tins feature Eevee and Snorlax GX. Now these Tag Team tins are a little bit older. I've actually had these in my collection for several months. I actually found these at my local Walmart back in the toy section for $24.98 a piece. I actually found these tins, like I said, at Walmart really before the demand for Pokemon cards took off and all the resellers out there just flipping as many products as possible. So I actually bought four tins that day all Eevee and Snorlax GX, the other two available with this tag team series of tins would be Pikachu and Zekrom GX, and then Celebi and Venusaur GX. On the back of the tin, if I flip one over, you can see everything that you get on the inside, including four Pokemon booster packs, a metal tag team GX marker, a code card, and then one of these three foil promo cards and I really like these alternate art GX tag team cards. So I'll open up one tin at a time and I'm hoping that there will be evolutions in this tin. That's one of the reasons that I bought it a long time ago. I know another tin that I like for tag team tins would be the Mewtwo and Mew tin. So there it is. Look at that beautiful tin right there. I do prefer the tins like are in my background of my openings just because those sit better and store better. So we'll see what's on the inside. Take everything out very carefully. It does look like evolution, so I'm on the hunt for any form of Charizard. So let's see, evolutions, Forbidden Light, and two team up. So I know why I bought these packs. Team Up, I'm a big fan of that set as well. And actually, it would make more sense for me personally to keep this tin sealed just because of the sets on the inside and the market for sealed products. So I'll show everything a little bit closer and then get to opening the pack. So the Eevee and Snorlax GX, it is an alternate art essentially. SM169 would be the card number it is textured and if my memory serves me correctly I actually haven't opened one of these tins in my new studio I could be mistaken though here's the online TCG code card I'll give this one away and then keep the other one for myself and then the four booster packs huge fans of all of these sets Forbidden Light would be the worst one of the three but it was a competitive set at the time. I believe Malamar is in the set, a great card for accelerating energy. So I'll open up Forbidden Light first, then go to Team Up, and then end the tin with Evolutions. Ultra Necrozma GX in this set, a competitive card. From one tin, I would like to get one white colored code card or more, so one rare hollow or better. First pack of the four starts with Helioptile, Pancham, Bergmite, Scatterbug, Gumi, Metal Type Energy, Gabite, Hoopa, Crasher Wake, Reverse all of that same Crasher Wake, both would be uncommon rarity wise. Final card would be a Pangoro. And of course, Forbidden Light and Ultra Prism, very similar sets. They included lots of the same card, but different types, like an Empoleon would be water and then dragon type in the two different sets. So on to the two team up packs, two of the featured tag team combinations for the tins, like the Eevee and Snorlax. And Sun and Moon, of course, will be rotating out of the standard format coming late August, September of this year. So no more Tag Team GX in the standard format. And the Pokemon Company International is moving to the letters at the bottom left of the card to indicate what sets are in the standard format. Pharaoh Seed starts this one. Charmander, hoping for Charizard later. Staryu, Litten, Zorua, Fairy-type Energy, Flaffy, Ammonite, 
Tauros, Reverse of a Fairy Charm, Ultra Beast, an uncommon. And then the final card would be an Alolan Marowak. I can't remember if it's from Team Up specifically, but I know there is a tag team alternate art out there featuring Latios and Latias. Has a heart between the two Pokemon. I know that is a hot item around Valentine's Day. It doesn't look like it will happen for this pack. I do not like seeing that green colored code card. Best you can hope for would be something good in that reverse hollow slot. Emolga. A decent ability on this card to start the pack. Mareep. Vulpix. Joltik. Blitzel. Water type energy. Buff padding. Spiritomb. Heliolisk. Reverse Hall of a Lavender Town. This stadium card says once during each player's turn, that player may have their opponent reveal their hand. And the final card, a Skarmory. So hoping for some last pack magic from tin number one. And if I don't get anything here, that's another reason to keep products sealed. And I would be a very wealthy man if I had kept all of the products sealed that I had purchased over the years. But of course, the only reason I really purchased those products is for my channel. So who knows if I would have purchased those if I had not been making YouTube videos. So three and two for Evolutions, an XY series set. Final pack here starts with Magikarp. This is, for the most part, a base set reprint set. Modernized reprints. Fighting type energy. Staryu. Tangela. Ratata, Switch, Machoke, Full Heal, Reverse Hollow of a Starmie Break. There we go. These horizontal cards never really were that popular outside of something like a Greninja Break was very good. Final card would be an Arcanine. So really 0 for 4 from the first 10. But with that being said, the Eevee and Snorlax, the promo, I should look up prices for those cards, I would guess would be worth five to ten dollars. But just the one good pull in the Starmie break, and these are similar to prime cards from the Heart Gold and Soul Silver series sets. Never really playable or have any value. So now let's get the second tin opened up. It is a little bit disappointing, like I said, that I was not able to get anything good. It looks like the plastic wrap is sort of coming off right here already. So if I go down here, you can actually just pull it right off. I'll just go right for the packs in this tin. Now make sure if you have not already to subscribe to my channel. Leave a like if you think this video deserves it. So I don't want to shake the whole camera. Same four packs should be on the inside here. Very good sets, like I said. I know I purchased these tins, and that is a problem that I have as a collector. I have a hard time keeping products sealed. Four booster packs here again, Evolutions, Forbidden Light, and two Team Up. So I'll open these in the same order. It worked so well for me last time. Hoping for better than just a break card. Alternate across on the Forbidden Light Pack once again. If I was to get a green colored code card, this would be the pack that I would prefer it. Four and then two. This pack starts with Gumi, Snover, Cubone, Froakie, Krogunk, Grass Type Energy, Unidentified Fossil, Yuxi. Mysterious Treasure. This was a very competitive card at the time. Discard a card from your hand. If you do, search your deck for a Psychic or Dragon type Pokemon, reveal it and put it into your hand, then shuffle your deck. So strategy-wise, you wanted to discard an Energy and go and get Inke or Malamar. Furfru would be the Reverse Holly Common. Rare, a Torterra. So here's an example, like I mentioned earlier, I believe Torterra from Ultra Prism. Grass type Torterra here fighting type on to the two team up booster packs now would love to pull out a tag team pokemon 
Mimikyu Gengar on this one. I'm just hoping for at least a rare holo. Have not seen anything so far out of what? This is the sixth pack. Star U starts the pack. Hone Edge. Weedle. Dratini. Alolan Grimer. Fighting Type Energy. Sabrina Suggestion. Toracat. Jinx. Reverse Hall of a Metal Goggles. This card was used with something like Lucario and Melmetal GX. An uncommon. Final card, a Mandibuzz. So the hunt continues for something good in that rare spot. A pretty terrible tin. Tin number one. Tin number two is not any better so far. All it takes is one pack to beat that. And look at that. That is a terrible sign right there. A green colored code card. I know for those mass openings out there, they see that green colored code card. They set the whole pack aside. Grimer starts the pack. Pidgey. Dratini. Pawniard. Alolan Grimer. Darkness type energy. Morgan. Flaffy. Jinx. Reverse all of a Kakuna, an uncommon. Final card would be a Mr. Mime. So. Definitely need some last pack magic for this final pack, Evolutions. I should just keep this pack sealed because more than likely it won't have anything. That's the chance to take. I don't want to look at that code card. I don't want to know if it's green or white. Hoping for any rare holo. I actually like the rare holo cards better than the ultra rares in this set. Onyx starts the final pack. Nidoran. Poliwag. Grass type energy, Rattata, coughing, revive. Here comes Team Rocket. Now, if you can believe it, this is a secret rare. I wish that the secret rares in the set were Hall of Foil in appearance. Reverse Hollow would be a Pidgeot Spirit Link, an uncommon. Final card would be a Mewtwo. So a pretty horrible. 210 opening from Eevee and Snorlax GX. But again, the good thing is that the Eevee and Snorlax GX is a collectible promo card. So I guess in tin number one, one break card. In tin number two, here comes Team Rocket, which surprisingly is a secret rare. They come in the reverse, the uncommon rather slot of the pack. When I first went to get evolutions i drove up to toys r us in the twin cities which toys r us is no longer in existence and actually popped my tire on my vehicle on the way there the first evolutions opening that i did on my channel i pulled i think at least one secret rare in the pack maybe two because that is possible no idea that they were secret rare so let me jump over to tcg player take a look at the price guide and see how much if i can find that Card. So I battle styles up so far. I need to go way back to Sun and Moon, or is that Sword and Shield? Sun and Moon, Black Star promos. It's been a while, Sun and Moon promos. Eevee and Snorlax GX. So if I just scroll down here, I'm guessing it's worth around $5. Eevee and Snorlax GX. Eevee and Snorlax GX. $8.42. So All's not lost, at least I did have a somewhat valuable promo card from the tin, but that makes it so that those other two tins that I have behind the wall of tins there, that makes me think that those two tins have to have something good, but for now I am going to keep those two tins sealed. So that will conclude this opening. Thank you everyone for watching. Make sure before you go to Subscribe to my channel and leave a like if you think this video deserves it. And then if you would like to support the channel even more, lots of ways to do so. You'll find all of those ways in the description of this video, including joining breaks if I have any on my channel, becoming a patron of mine on Patreon, purchasing my book. I have signature cards available on eBay, and then you can always donate via the live chat via the super chat and super stickers so that will conclude this opening thank you everyone for watching 
and stay tuned for more videos. Thank you.